What's up guys? It's Chad here at GVs coming to you from my driveway today. If you've been following the channel, you know behind me is my wife's 2018 Honda Odyssey. This thing is five years old, it's got 90,000 miles on it, and it's still on the factory battery. But it is showing signs of aging, hard starts here and there. So today the project is going to be getting this battery replaced with something new. So stay tuned and I'll show you how easy it is to get this battery swapped out. On these Odysseys, the battery is located on the driver's side. Um, an easy way to tell is by this big bright red positive cap right here. And obviously the negative is right over here. Don't let this whole thing right here fool you. I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to disassemble all this to get to your battery. First thing is first, we're going to have to remove this plastic uh, radiator shroud right here. There's no screws on, involved on this one. All they are are just the plastic push pins. So you're going to want to lift straight up. Don't try to rip sideways. See how easy that was? Just pop them straight up. Keep working your way down. The only thing you got to watch out for is the little... Uh, the hood catch release right here, there is a circle that goes around it, so try not to uh, pull on that too much. There we go. That whole thing comes off nice, one easy piece. All right, next thing here is we have two uh, Phillips screws. So get your screwdrivers ready and we'll get that taken care of. All right, let's get these two out of the way. Don't lose them, they are kind of a proprietary looking screw right here. All right, put those two to the side in a safe place. Next thing, okay, your air box is right here. This essentially is your cold air intake. So the air comes from the grill, it goes through here, down into your air box. So right here is a connector. You're gonna to wanna to pull this straight out. Um, try not to um, you know, angle your pull a whole lot. All right, see that came right out, nice and easy. Once you get the air box taken care of, the next thing you'll see here is actually your battery. So I'm going to reposition the camera and we are going to uh, go from there. For the rest of this install, you are going to just need a 10 millimeter socket. Uh, to get these right here, I call this the battery hanger. It don't matter what you call it, but it's gonna require a deep dish socket uh, to get it done. So we're gonna first uh, loosen this up. All right, once these are loose, you're not gonna have to uh, loosen them all the way, just enough to get the hangers down below um, out of the holes. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, don't know if you can see down there or not. Hopefully the camera will adjust. All right, so the bar going down, it has to fit into the little hole. And obviously once you loosen it up enough, you can just pop it right on out. Just like that, same on the other side. Once you get this out of the way, again, you do the same thing on both sides. This lifts right on out, just like so. Next thing, All right, you're going to want to disconnect the battery. Um, you always are gonna do negative first for everything. So when you disconnect the battery, you wanna do the negative first, okay? And then the when you reconnect it, you put the positive first and the negative last. So. Uh, negative is the first you remove and negative is the last you put back on. All right, these Honda batteries, 
from the factory, uh, as far as I know, have a plastic cover that you have to remove. The battery is sitting in a battery box. This box right here is going to be from Honda. You're going to reinstall it over the new battery, okay? So again, we're going to remove, okay, the negative terminal first. And obviously, whenever you're handling a battery, you know, you should be wearing gloves and eye protection just in case there is acid in the battery. All right, so we're going to wiggle this and see how loose it is. It does not feel very loose at all. So, going to see. There we go. All right, that's obviously loose now. Try not to let it, uh, you know, hit the other battery terminal. That would be very bad. All right, going down here, getting the positive. And again, it's always a good idea to have some random shock towels hanging around um, just so it's a little bit easier for you. I have a couple of these little yellow ones here. So obviously if you want to make you feel safer, you know, wrap the terminal in the towel like so. So obviously it doesn't arc. And then we're going to try to do the same process here with the positive. Once you get the little red cap off, uh, it will make it easier to actually grab onto the actual terminal itself. You're just going to pull straight up and pop it off. There's a lot less um, cable on the positive terminal, so you can't really move it too far. Um, but again, I'm going to be wrapping the positive cable terminal with a shop towel. I don't know if you can see that or not on the actual lid here. Um, but you are going to be looking at a group size 48. Okay, so that's what you're looking for when you go to your local uh, battery place. We're going to remove the cap. Again, this is just a proprietary cap. It goes with the vehicle, so do not discard it. Do not toss it. It has to go back on. And it is giving me some a fit to get out of here. This positive terminal is being a pain in the butt. There we go. All right. Got that off again. It is just a cover that has to go back on. All right. Here is the factory battery. Again, this is literally a five-year-old battery um, that Honda put in. All right. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to find the actual manufacturer date on here just to show you guys how old this thing actually is. Um, this should be the easiest part. Um, it's got two handles. Okay. Uh, there's no corrosion on this battery whatsoever, which is awesome. So we're going to pull this thing straight out. All right. While you are here, you might as well, you know, vacuum out underneath the battery box. Uh, it probably going to be a lot of garbage down there. All right. Here is the factory battery. All right, it's a 650 cold cranking amps. Um, not really seeing the manufacture date. I was able to find it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It says 315 of 18. Okay, this vehicle was purchased somewhere in June of 18. So this is a pretty brand new battery. Um, here is the new battery I'm putting in. It is a Duralast Gold. It comes with a three-year warranty. This battery was right around $200. Uh, the specs on this one, again, it's a 48 group. It's an H6. This particular one has 730 cold cranking amps. And this one, actually, they decided to put a nice little sticker that said the exact manufacture date of 423. So it is the first week in June, so this is a pretty brand new battery. Even comes with nice little caps on it for you and a handle. Don't forget to reinstall this factory battery battery box cover. All right, got that in as far as we can. We're going to tighten this bolt down. I 
mean, you want to snug it tight. Um, obviously, if it's loose and you hit a bump, your battery could come disconnect, and that could be a big problem. Do not forget to reinstall this nice little red cover that's going to keep all those other extra terminals and stuff in here from getting moisture, water, whatever have you on there. Lock that down. And uh, there we go on the battery. We're just going to affix the air box and the little shroud back and call it a day. Once you're sure your battery terminals are nice and tight, nothing's loose, we're going to want to reinstall the front of the air box. Again, just push this straight on in there. It is a rubber boot, so it's going to secure pretty easily. All right, you're going to want to line these up. All right, these push pins came out of the actual... Um, there we go. These were kind of pressed into this piece, but when I put, trying to push this back down, they popped out. So try not to break them. They are kind of cheap plastic. All right, so again, these are the Phillips head. These are like plastic screws here. Make sure you don't lose them. And we're just gonna quickly screw these back in. Got that. All right, again, the plastic shroud that goes over this thing, I don't know if you can see or not, but for example, this right here, that's one of the push pin holes right here, and there's a couple here uh, and around that this goes back onto. All right, again, the most important thing to remember is to pretty much line up this. This is gonna be the uh, hood release catch there, and then this obviously too. So once you get all that lined up, the little push pins should line back up pretty well yeah you hear that yep all right it looks like everything's back on there good so um we're gonna go start up and make sure there's no security codes we have to punch in or anything for the alarm system or the head unit All right, always beautiful van here. All right, that's good news. All right, nice positive fire up. Obviously it says hoods open. Let's hope, okay, here we go, some little message here. System has lost power, push and hold the power button for more than two seconds to enable system. So let's see here, power button. Oh, all right. I think we got everything. Let's check the FM stations. Limited edition Star Spangled uh, Big Bowl. All right, so all of our stations are still in here. So I don't feel like we lost any information and I'm not seeing any things saying I have to enter some sort of security code. So all positive. That concludes my video on how to change the battery in this 2018 and newer Honda Odyssey. Uh, I know all the piping in the air box is kind of scary for people who've never changed a battery before. You're used to seeing just the battery sitting there, easy to take out. Um, the guy at AutoZone did not want to do it because all that stuff was in the way, so you might have to do it yourself if you do go that route. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description below, and as always, have a great weekend.